Thanksgiving, what you plan on coming here or we coming up there? Well, it really don't matter. I can drive up there or y'all can come up here. All right, I'll talk to you a moment. I'll text you tomorrow. All right. You bringing your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Oh, okay. I don't. Hey, whatever you say, bro. Yeah, hey. The world is your oyster. That's real. Soon though, soon. I'm, I might have a girlfriend soon. We'll, we gonna see. There's some nice bitches that that you and your girl took. I don't know who's my who's my girl. I don't know who you talking. About. What's her name? Diaspora. What's her name? Diaspora. I don't know. Nikki? I don't know who that is. No, Nikki. Nikki. That's not my girlfriend. She something like it. Yeah, that's the vibe you get. Is that Nikki's my girl? Yeah. I don't know. We gonna see. We gonna see if we gonna see. I'm gonna just let. Especially if you thinking God that if you thinking God that He found her for you. I thank God that everybody's placed in my life though. But you really thank God for her. But all right, Dad. I'm about to go to IKEA and get this mirror for their clothes. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Hey, say, man, so look, that was my dad. He trolling. Y'all see where I get it from now. He trolled me every single time we get on the phone. I love him to death, though. But now it's time for me to lock in, man. I'm finally finna go get me a goddamn new mirror because it's much needed. I want to start getting the living room more situated or whatnot. I got some rugs on the way. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to talk about all the stuff that I'm getting. Y'all just going to see if you continue to watch the vlogs. So that leads me to this, man. If you're new to the channel, you might as well go ahead and like, share, subscribe, all that. We on the road to 300K on Instagram. I am not locked in. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button. Also, click that bell so you can be notified whenever I post a video. And also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might as well do that too because we're on the road to 100K. Big 100K. So, with that being said, enough yapping because I've been talking all day. Let's go fill this empty space up in Moody Bricks because I'm probably going to put some flowers on there. Goddamn, I'm going to have a little garden in this apartment. So, let's hit the road and hit Ikea and get taxed this way. Okay. So we are at Ikea right bro, is my mic on? I bet, say let's just get it. So we are at Ikea right now, excuse me. Um, now I love coming to Ikea, I ain't gonna lie, it's a vibe every time. Like I be like a little ass kid in it bitch. But real quick, before I actually start the Ikea vlog or whatnot, I have to go piss, so I'll be right back. Say you too, so I just left the bathroom. I don't know why I just told y'all that, but it is what it is. Now it's time for us to go ahead and get the mirror. So if you ever been to Ikea, you know that this is a pathway to sort of see all the things that um, they have to offer. You know, the sofas, the love seats, futons, the gardening, um, the shelves, the chairs. And y'all know my ADHD be acting up OD. I think somebody in the last vlog said, this video is brought to you by ADHD. And I 100% agree, to him. Like, I literally be going on side tangents, like, verbally and in the video, man. Like, I might mess around and start showing y'all this. Like, what is this? Fake plants? That's not what we came here for. Now, the mirror that I'm looking to get, man, it's called the Hovet Mirror. I am not a gatekeeper. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You can get the same thing as me, twin. We could both be locked in. You know that. The Hovet Mirror is probably one of the best mirrors, in my opinion, because it's a 70 by 30. If you go to Target or Walmart, you know, they sell large mirrors, but they're usually thin. And me, I'm probably like 6'1", 6'2". And whenever I take my pictures or I'm doing content or whatnot, I want to make sure my mirror is large enough and wide enough in width so I can, you know, I don't have to edit and do all the extra over whooping trying to make the content look good, man. The mirror's big. Big, right pause i said that big way too hard like whoa pause again oh my god just shh. knowing me bro i can get sidetracked so much i ain't falling asleep can y'all say what's up to my vlog yeah let me keep pushing it because that was crazy <laughs> if you go back to his mom and say a random black guy approached me she gonna be scared of hell bro i'm not trying to go to jail bro you already know how this shit go i ain't gonna lie this chair kind of fire though like we go set fit on sale for 50 ton the red chair and y'all know like i'm going for like the whole black and red theme in the crib especially in my room for 50 twin that's not what we came here for for all my folks that's watching this man have y'all ever ate ikea food you know what i'm saying they about to close but i've been to ikea damn near 30 times i don't know why i just chose the word 30 but i've been here hella times and never decided to eat at the buffet so does it hit y'all let me know something this is the mirror right here and i'm planning on getting it's called the Hovet, like I said, and it's going for 179. But this would it look like, man. You see how big this mirror is? Excuse me, sir. Would you ever get this mirror? 
Can you just be the advocate, the poster child for this mirror? Is this not a beautiful mirror and it's large enough and it's wide enough? Like, it's big. Exactly. Y'all, you Where heard you it there first. Uh, I make content like YouTube, vlogging. So like yeah. whenever I'm showing off my outfit or something like that, it's just large enough to capture everything. Like yeah. for a still too, 179. Or horizontal, it's big. Exactly, y'all heard it there first. It's just not me, man. Everybody think that. Well, I don't know about everybody, but he thinks that too. Oh, here go the black one. There's one black one left. Toy, I'm, let me lock in. Let me stop playing. There's one, 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 there's one left. Ah, cool, so there's one black one left, as y'all can see. I'm definitely finna yop this. Now, I had to make sure there was no cracks or nothing on there because I seen a TikTok of some girl putting it in her car and she went home um, with this same mirror, the black one too, the exact same colorway. Um, she had went home and it was cracks all over it. She didn't do her homework. She didn't do her due diligence and it hit different that way. I ain't going out bad, so. I had to make sure I do my research. I'm finna go ahead, go ahead and check out, excuse me. Um, and I'm glad I came early enough before they yacht this last black one, cause you know, uh, I really like opium for real. Successful trip. I'm glad I didn't go any side tangents, buy anything that I knew I wasn't supposed to be buying. It's giving adult, you know? I'm glad that uh, I can come here successfully. Why am I talking like this is like LeBron post game? You know, we went in with a good, with a, with, with a good heart, uh, put up a good fight. Um, you know, defense was immaculate, but offense was better. Uh, and I want to congratulate all my, I want to congratulate all my teammates, uh, the rest of the coaching staff, um, the referees. I feel like they sold the game, but we went in and uh, gave it our all, gave it our fight. What the fuck am I talking about? It's hella good, y'all. I'll be able to fit it in there. I ain't gonna lie. Watch this. Ah, uh, come on. I gotta relax this <laughs> off. She's just trying to go home. I'm gonna take her home, y'all. You know I'm saying? I finally get to bring somebody home with me. Somebody finally want to go back to the spot. I mean, she excited too. That's probably why she's not talking much right now, y'all. She's just in loss for words. She's so excited to be in the Cash Palace. Um. So guess what? Guess what I'm finna do, baby? And you look, that shit look big back there too. You know what I'm saying? You want the windows rolled down or you want the AC? AC? I bet. Let me know if it get too cold. You know, we go Mazda, so of course, like, it's like the coldest AC. Eh. I got like the coldest AC. This ain't no V8 though. You said what? You said why I ain't got a V8? I ain't gonna lie, she low key just tried me. She said why I ain't go V8 yet. Shit, mind your business. You in the back of my car, aren't you? Shit, you could really go back to IKEA. You was the last one left. Why nobody wanted you? I think that's a better question. Nobody wanted you, twin. We finna head back to the spot, though. I'm super excited, all just aside, to have a mirror. Uh, Cause niggas been getting dressed blindly for like the last three months, y'all know that. And I feel like even though I still be putting that shit on, man, cause I've been using my bathtub mirror, um, this will actually allow me to create more content, more get ready with me content or whatnot when I don't want to talk. Cause I be mic'd up for most of my get ready with me's, but Sundays and they don't want to talk in the morning, man. Sundays niggas trying to just go straight to class, get their day started, so. It would be cool for me to, to switch up the content and be more versatile. And twin, do not go. I ain't trying to get in no accident, especially with my baby in the back seat. Trust me, I got you. Don't even worry. You safe. You safe with me. I might call my twin and see what she on, because we were supposed to link today. Um, but she might be on a whole other vibe, which is completely okay. So I'm going to check in with y'all when we head back to the hut, like I said. It's a honey house. And get my baby back at the crib safe and sound. Let's do it.
Yo, why do all girls do the same? <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Like, it ain't different. Like, why do all girls do the same shit, bro? Y'all think that shit cute? That's for the person behind the camera. But I'm saying, though, uh, it's for me. Yo, I fuck when girls do <laughs> that shit so far. Say, now, nah, look, y'all, we at Linux. Uh, it's another day in the life, man. Y'all know that. I don't even know what part of the video, what part of the vlog is gonna be in, but you know how we get down. You know, we be vibed out, so. Can you say what's up to my vlog, twin? Alright, we at Linux just left class now. I got hella shit I gotta do. So after Linux, we're gonna head back to GSU and lock in. I'm gonna show y'all the fit. I'm gonna show y'all Nikki fit real quick. Actually, you could do the honors. Do you know where Bath and Body Works at though? Yeah, Alright, bet. So we there after your fit breakdown. Oh, yeah. So we got Thurston, Sheen, Subtle Park, Jay London, New Balance. Look at her. Batali, Etsy. Oh, <laughs> and that's the thing. We go unannounced on the rings. Y'all know I get these typical rings assortment. We go 1995 Coke T. Boom. We go classic colors, rap in it. Y'all know that pants. We go Rick on bowling cuts. And then we go. Butters. <laughs> <laughs> we about to head to Bath and Body Works because. I'm gonna go get restocked. I ain't gonna lie though. My mom really put me on Bath and Body Works. I use the wallflowers. So I might look for a wallflower. And then I also might look for this soap that I used to always use from Bath and Body Works. It run out OD quick. So if they have that, I remember last time I went, I couldn't find it. So I'm gonna try to look for it today. If they ain't got that, then I might have to go ahead and cut some jewels in the middle of the mall. No. Twin trying to go AP. <laughs> no. So if I bought you a ring from the middle of the mall, would you wear it? If I like you, yeah. But say y'all, uh, enough yapping. We finna head to the spot. And... Suit the fives is so let's do it. I think this is it. How does it smell to you? Mm, it's okay. Baby, uh, yes, that's the deodorant, then this is the uh, body cream. Now, I don't like <laughs> I'm dumb as hell, bro. It says try me, I'm scratching it because you know, you sniff shit, bro. That's not, it's not a sniff. Oh. I ran out a minute ago. Don't sniff it in deep, it smells strong, but like, it smells like, it smells like a uh, Shirley Temple. Sure. You know how much this jacket go for? Um, that's gonna be... 450. I'm calling it 450. Yeah, um, you're out of range. Definitely out of range. Out of range. Out of range. Yeah. We're at a 1245. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna be 450 to it. That's 375. Catch the nails. Word, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for real. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the nails. Nah, I really low key tried moose knuckles, man. I said 450 for the real tree. That was 1300. That's crazy. So it's good. Yeah, I see you staring. So what's up? For real though. You're not really in the store, so like, I yeah. can stop you. <laughs> nah, but if you real vlogger, man, you know you can never record in the stores. We go Ralph Lauren too. We go Polo, Ted Baker. Don't know too much about Pet Ted Baker, but it doesn't look like that's my swag. So. <laughs> I'm not putting on a Listen. suit no time soon. Really? You don't think you would do it for fun? Go to like a gala? What if you're invited to a wedding again? Like I'll go so much. Shout out to my dog Owen, man. Y'all know that. It has to be very tailored and it has to... Yeah, it's like a tailored tuxedo. Wait, is that Balenci? We go Balenci? Wait, hold on. Wait, what? Oh. Tight. We can record? Damn, Sam. My fault. Say yeah. later. Yo, I haven't got my nails done in like a long time and Nikki pressed me. Nikki forced me to do this. Not song. really. I didn't force you. I can't force you. I just suggested, you know. Kindly like. suggest <laughs> kindly put the idea out there. You know, you said you really wanted to get you <laughs> Twin, my nails are so bad. The first clip that she did, a nail flew in the air. <laughs> like it hit different, bro. I gotta lock in. But I'm gonna go clear gel. Actually no, Nikki, should I go black? Stick with the clear. Black is not I know what's going giving. Man. Free J bands, man. If you're watching this, I love you and I miss you, friend. Like for real, like free J bands. And matter of fact, when Jay, when Jaden, y'all, for all my OG subs out like there, man, when Jaden called from the uh, collect call or whatnot, I'ma see if I can vlog that, bro. Like whenever he called, I'ma let him know it's on a vlog, boom, boom, boom. And like you know how like rappers, whenever they call from jail, like they do like put the jail calls on a like song and shit like that. Uh -huh. It'll be like the same thing. Like with Jaden was going for my vlog, and like Jaden gonna say what's up to y'all. So everybody wanna talk to Jay Vance, man. Trust me, it's coming soon, man. Like uh -huh. stay patient. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's why I'm getting my nails done. That's I just random. I was about yeah. to ask. You know how like they go like uh show show her, uh follow my nails and then 
put the camera before and then when you do after put it in the top you know what i'm saying like the towel so then it's gonna like zoom out i see how he cut it man yeah. <laughs> it's very much getting all maintenance vlog <laughs> <laughs> clear gel wait let it focus let it focus yeah clear gel yeah how's our clothes at eight the thing says eight. Why you say What? No. Nah, not as both said. But the thing no, said eight. We were just about to get boba. This so. makes me so sad. I'm sorry. Let me check a habit. You tell me the drinks. What do you want? <gasps> okay. Oh, okay, you are sick. Okay, yeah. Which one do you think I should get? The brown sugar? Well, brown sugar milk, tea, and free extra <laughs> boba. <laughs> Cause they're closing, but you know he came in clutch and he's still gonna make his anyways. Ty. Not all heroes wear a case, man. Ty. That's my boy, man. For real. Are <laughs> we both said, oh wait, the thing is that was crazy. But yeah, y'all, this is my favorite boba spot ever in every mall, like ever. They almost never miss. <laughs> Why he just came me new boba? Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh, he is so nice for that. Oh, I'm just so happy, like. Over. Well, for me, but still, like, <laughs> Twin really came through because me and Nikki was talking about it in Twinkle Vet, too. Showing that Twinkle Vet, by the way, we go Corvette. Yeah, we had a terrible encounter at Chipotle. I was damn near arguing with a lady, like, bro, how you gonna give Nikki a goddamn sauce with shredded cheese in there? Like, bro, like, have some decency and <laughs> respect, bro. If it was on the opposite end and I was serving your food, you'll be hot. So, like, come on, do us a solid and actually prepare our food. I know you don't want to work, but at the end of the day, bro, like. We all got to do shit we don't want to do, bro. Like, just chuck not, it up and have some respect, man. Like, the whole bird. That's what I'm saying. That like, just is... chuck it up and have some respect, man. So we and her going back and forth bickering about that. And then we go to the bubble place. I'm like, bro, it literally said on the thing that it closed at 8. He was like, you know what? Just let me know whatever you want. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm going to go honey milk bubble, blah, 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 boom. He asked Nikki, do you want one? She said, no. Tell me, not only did that, because they were technically closed, Twin made a bubble for me, but then when I rang up, got mine. Nigga pulled out another boba. <laughs> He's tough. He said, and the balls were free. <laughs> yeah, he ain't even charge us for the extra boba, man. So I said, not all heroes wear cakes, bro. Because we just literally had a terrible encounter at Chipotle. And we still kept a smile on our face. Yeah. Brushed it off our shoulders like, uh. <sighs> and then look what happened, man. What what are you doing? Like, yeah, should I like, roll down the window and say, "Hey, what are you doing?" Like, and and it's only them to can, like. Uh, and they not even looking back. No, like they don't you care. You feel the presence of a car. You feel the presence of a <laughs> car. Look, they moving like what are you, like we in they space. Like this is a dry, uh, uh, sidewalk. That's crazy work. Look, and then look, look, they cross the street without even looking. No. Now they want to look back. No, but that's the and thing. they didn't even look at us. They didn't like, look at the car. They looking at the um down there. That's crazy work, man. I don't even got to speak too much, man. Y'all know the vibes. I don't want to say it on the internet and get canceled. <laughs> Y'all know the I vibes, know, though. I started to, but then I stopped. Like, Y'all know the vibes, on. man. Lock in, for real. Hey, say, man, what's going on, YouTube? Y'all see the vibes, man. Look, it's another day in the life. Now, I'm in a whole different location. I am not in Atlanta. I'm in South Carolina. Y'all know it's Thanksgiving, so I'm with the fam. Um, now, look, yesterday was Thanksgiving. It's Black Friday. We just pulled up to the Tanger Outlets. I'm giving y'all straight throwback vibes right now. <laughs> and he don't know what's going on right now. He just psyched out. What are you doing, gang? Like, y'all see it. Black Friday shenanigans. By the way, y'all, this is a side tangent, but I had seen this movie with Nikki the other day called Thanksgiving. If you Y'all know I love doing my little film recommendations. If you are free, go watch that. I don't want to dox too much, but it's about Black Friday and multiple people died shopping at Walmart. Like, you know how people be, uh, oh, for real? Yeah, you know, I go see it. you know how I people be like, that, yeah, the stampede, the yeah, that's like the, the basis of the movie. I don't know if you remember the movie Hostel. You remember Hostel? I never the, watched them, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the person that made Hostel, uh, directed this movie too, so it's like very gory. It's like, it's like a cheesy slasher, like, mm -hmm. so, but I feel like you'll enjoy it, it's cool. Now, that one piece that I was talking about in specific, yes, I remember what I was talking about. Y'all know I go on side tension, but we bring it back like I'm Kanye. It's some Skechers. Y'all know Ian Connor was sporting Skechers in like 2016, 2017. Yes, it did inspire me a little bit, but I got my own swag, I got, I got my own sauce, you know, I'm a rock out like that. So, um, I told my mom, I was like, man, I'm trying to get some Skechers. Uh, so she typed in Skechers Outlet, and now we are here. Hello, happy Black Friday. Happy Black Friday. See that? <laughs> See that, y'all? You see where we at? Good sketchers, man. Yo, these are kind of sick. I think that's all the color they have. Keep it band. Rate these out of 10. Would you wear sketchers?
That's real. That's what I'm saying, y'all. These hard. Mom, you want this for Black Friday? <laughs> Start trolling. Let me ask you, Mom. How do you feel about uh, those Marc Jacob tote bags? You know the... Eric, have Mom you seen those? What? Grandma, I told y'all my grandma is low-key a designer fiend. Why my grandma wants Supreme and the Marc Jacobs the tote like bag? <laughs> So look, would y'all rather go, well, let me say y'all, let me not say y'all because Gavin's not here, but would you rather go Mark Jacobs tote bag or Telfar? For me, I'm going Telfar. Tell easy, man. But I want the, uh, YSL uh, bag. Okay, we go St. Laurent. Do your homework on that. I wasn't even expecting that. Now, I've never been in here before, but it's a sneaker store and I'm seeing Jay's, all that. So, what's going on? Hello. So, you know we vibe that we locked in, man. Y'all see Jordans everywhere. Let's see what they talking about. Off-white. Off-White Fives, Grinch, Kobe's, 85 Jordans. These 3 k man. $3,000 for the Off-White Baby Blues, the Virgils. Oh my God, what happened to Virgil? Are you still a teen, yeah? Or don't even speak on that. Don't even speak. <laughs> Never mind, let me stay in my place. <laughs> More Jordans, y'all see it. Yeah, how you feel about Jordans now? Do you feel like Jordan fell off? Mm, I, I mean, I still got mine, but I ain't really doing it like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm in my up-tempo era. Supreme Air Force Ones. Y'all, fun fact, my grandma loves Supreme. <laughs> for, I don't know, for no reason, grandma just loves Supreme. If she's seen these, she'll psych out, but 220 for the all-white Air Force Ones, just with the small Supreme, 220, an extra 100 bucks. These are all-white forces just with... I thought they were selling them for like 150 or something. What are they selling? Yeah, they go for like 120 now. They selling these all-white Air Force Ones, not Supreme ones, the regular g Fezos for 140. You know it's crazy when you start reselling forces now. Oh, they got the uh, uh, the toaster Kobe's. You know those are Kobe's right there? Those uh, yellow, white and yellow shoes. Those are the first Kobe's that ever came out. And he was with Adidas before he moved to Nike. They got the 85 Jordans, the original black cement threes, I think. I think those came out in 88. I'm still knowledgeable a little bit on sneakers, man. Y'all let me know. I think those came out in 88. I feel like these kind of cool, mom. These all brown Supreme forces. I like this brown color palette a little bit. Like this all chocolate. And I kind of like these two of those yellow and navy blue dunks. These still sick in my opinion. I need to start selling everything that I get. Like I used to have these. Now they go for stupid money. I think, well, let me see. $330, man. Do your homework on that. It's your favorite wall. It's my mom's favorite wall. <laughs> for real, she's the one to say it. <laughs> Man, I remember I used to have these, the blue tents. I got these are still ain't warm yet. These are the original, original Yeezys, like the first Yeezys that came out. And everybody was like, I think these came out in like 2016. Everybody's like, bro, what is this? Yeah, they ain't like them, but 600. <laughs> yeah, so they took this model. This is the first Adidas Yeezy, and then they took this and then upgraded and made it this. Yeah, so this is like the better version, but can't forget about the OGs though, the version ones. And these are going for $550. I don't know if I'm feeling these. What do you like about these? Be honest. They are comfortable. They super comfortable. It's giving walking on cloud, walking on pillows. <laughs> I used to have these. I wore these to the ground, y'all. $400 though. Y'all see it, the 700 V2s. I have these in the green colorway. And I got, I bought them off my dad. It hit different. Matter of fact, I see them right now. Hold on. I bought these off my dad. And guess who bought those for my dad? <laughs> I'm like, bro, come on, lock in. Like, he got these too. I'm telling y'all everything without saying nothing. Like, y'all see it. Like, he got, he got what? These ones or these ones? Like, matter of fact, when I show y'all. He got some gray ones like that, but oh, he got these ones right there. Like, come on, man. I'm telling y'all, I'm showing y'all the proof in the pudding right now. Like, I hate to say it, but it's been a Yeezy family since oh, day one. Look at my boots. I got boots. Oh yeah, the Yeezy boots out there. All right, stop spoiling all the Yeezys you got, cause I want to show. I want to do a dedicated video, and so, y'all, in today's vlog, I'm gonna show y'all all the Yeezys that my mom got, all her favorite UGGs, all that. I don't know. I'm gonna have to um, walk out of here. With exactly. <laughs> like, y'all lock in. So I tell y'all. No, nah, I've been looking at these two, these Cactus Jack Air Force Ones. Should I get these, y'all, or these mid? I feel like sometimes I be saying they mid, sometimes I be saying they hard. But for 800, though, I'm gonna let my mom be the guest. You think I should get these one day? These uh, Travis Scott Cactus Jack Air Force Ones? They for 800, though. One day, that's why I said one day. I wouldn't spend 800 on them now. I feel like for an all-white cream Air Force One, though, they're kind of mid, like, they're average. 
That's real. You heard it there first. Matter of fact, I don't think my mom ever liked. Did you ever like Travis Scott and the stuff that he did with like Nike? Like the Ch Cact Cactus Jack stuff? I got a, a cereal bar to go. Of course. <laughs> the Reese's. <laughs> like, come on. It. it ain't even over yet. The Smurfs. The Smurf Johns. That was trash. These low key suck too. Let's say, y'all, uh, this is Cola Kicks. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't even know that the Tanger Outlet had a store like this, but I mean, it's smooth to add to the vlog. Let's keep it pushing. Like, <laughs> how much they want for them? 450? I can't even tell you whether that's a good price. I remember I was feeding for these. Let me see. They didn't my size. 300. 300? Yeezys is going down in price too. Like, it's, I don't know if 300 for V2s is solid. And then look, Kanye start playing, man. Let's just walk out of the store. Like, <laughs> let's walk out of the store, man. Hey, say man, YouTube, y'all know exactly what's going on. Y'all know the vibe. I'm obviously at my parents' crib for the holidays. You gotta spend Thanksgiving with your family. If you're not doing that, lock in, son. Come on, what are we talking about? We know what come after Black Friday shopping. It's Cyber Monday, which means it's gonna be a whole lot of internet browsing, and I got the perfect service for you that can protect your identity whenever you decide to shop online, so this is a must. You ever shop on a website, but the page looks suspect? Say no more, that's what Surfshark VPN comes in to save the day, y'all know that. A VPN service can be an aid to numerous avenues that could expose you to harmful cyber scenarios, meaning to protect your information when browsing like IP addresses, passwords, and many other components, just to name a few, which can ensure your safety when you hop online. So if I hop on the Japanese auction website to get some Rick Owens for 2006, it's a no brainer to throw a little VPN on there because you might see someone like this and you don't want them accessing your information. Like obviously you wanna avoid those type of problems. Now the VPN allows you to travel virtually around the world with just one finger. So for an example, if you live in Spain, you can connect to a Canadian server which will then give you access to Canadian content. Twin, no funny, I literally hop on a VPN service at school because GSU internet, I don't want to dox them, but it really don't work for real. Let's be real, school internet sucks. So look, I could really browse any site that I want, international or not, with added connection speed and the closure that my information couldn't leak even if every pipe was broke. It really do hit different, I promise. Now mind you, in addition to the VPN service, there's a plethora of other services that Surfshark VPN offers. You got the antivirus, which is essential for those pop-up ads we all know. Instead of going ad blocker, you could just really go Surfshark VPN. We hate pop-ups, duh. Then there's also another service called Alert and Search. Now this service can simply just give you more security, so don't forget that too. If you got the ability to get that, definitely lock in and do so. Now with that being said, I have an exclusive Surfshark VPN Black Friday and Cyber Monday they deal for you. When you enter the promo code, which should be on the screen, the Life of Cash K, it will give you an additional six months for free. And also with that link you'll find in the description, you can access that as well. Huge thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's episode. I know y'all want to see my mom's sneaker collection because it's been some years. So with that being said, I'm going to go hush mode and the spotlight going to go on her because I know y'all want to see that. So let's lock in and let's do it. Appreciate y'all Surfshark. I'm really just yapping right now. Let's get back to the video. The last time they seen you was when I did a weed prank on you. So how do you feel? How's it? Where's your mental at? Going into 2024, what's some New Year's resolutions? What's some things you want to tell to the people? Man, don't that, ask me all that right now. Man. I ain't really that. But but you was a star though. You was a star. You went viral. What three four years ago? You was the main. You was the main contender. You went viral. Anything you want to say to your fans? Just words of encouragement. You can give them advice in life. You know, the world is your oyster. Y'all know I say that a lot. That came from him right there. <laughs> like you <and> crap. <laughs> <laughs> like you crap. If there's any advice you can get to the fans out there, what do you want to say? Save your money. Uh, uh, there's any advice? Don't be a crab at the bar at the bottom of the barrel. Y'all heard it there first, man. Do not be a crab at the bottom of the barrel. That means be a leader. The world is your oyster. You can do anything in this world. Do not follow others. Hey, look, man. Give me a hug, man. Be safe on that road, bro. I'm gonna try to. Nah, don't try it. You gotta do that. You feel what I'm saying? You slow down, take your time, and get there. 10 o'clock, uh, uh, 10 o'clock will be there. I real. How y'all feel about me telling my YouTube channel I really was born in the trenches, I came from the trenches, I had to struggle all my life? You a liar. <laughs> Yo, you know we really from the trenches, bro. We go pool table, you know what I'm saying? Like, we go Pac-Man, we go Dust Beer, we go Mortal Kombat, do your homework on Liu Kang, we go darts. I grew up in the trenches though, I had it hard all my life. You said that you was in your up-tempo phase right now, you just getting a whole bunch of up-tempos. I got these from Nordstrom Rack, like those. We go more up <laughs> You know we had to double it, more up-tempos. Oh, I like these ones. 
because it got like the little animal prints on there. Oh, I didn't get to wear these. Oh, well, I bought them for the summer, but I didn't get to wear them. Like, what was your first shoe that got you in sneakers? Like, how did how did this begin? Like, where could you say? Because you always, if y'all don't know, my mom says she always been in the fashion since she was a young and that's probably the reason why I'm into clothes. It probably no, it definitely is the reason I'm into clothes. What started for you, like having a pair of uh, not these ones, but. Some Fair British Nights back in the day. It wasn't these kind, but I had a pair of British Nights. But these right here, so I got these from in Croatia. Cause you, ain't buying, you just ain't buying British Nights like that. Oh. These are some classics. Troops. This was a brand. Back a lot of rappers and stuff wore troop, troop jackets, troop shoes. I'm wearing these to work lately. Two pairs of Kobe's. Y'all, fun fact, I got into Kobe's because my mom, remember I asked you, I begged you to wear these for my game, the uh, no, the, breast no, the, cancer Kobe's? Yes, but the shoes I should have kept and not let you wear. And I was just thinking about this the other day. My Fruity Pebble LeBron. Ah. And you dog though. <laughs> yeah. I wore these the other day. Those are kind of crazy. Let me see. The uh, Vogue Jordans. Oh, I got to clean them, but I do like these. Sean with the spoons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what got you in the vans? Look at this van collection. The only person I know that could really go bar for bar with you with vans is Sale. So shout out to Sale if you're watching this. That's really the vans go too. I don't know, I always like vans. With the spikes on it too. I told y'all she really opium. Cardi, where you at, gang? These are super comfortable though. Yeah, matter of fact, since we on that topic, just go over all your Yeezys. What you like about them? I ain't them. been able to wear these either. I like these because they glow in the dark, but I ain't been able to wear them. Well, I, I just ain't had to wear them. I heard Ross Fina for these. Good. What are those? The zebras, I think. Mm -hmm. like that. These, of course, are some faves. I wear these to work a lot. Mm, I think I've only wore these once. I feel like those are probably the least comfortable Yeezys too. Yeah, is that fair? Like, yeah, I don't, that's why I only wore them once. These are my favorites. I like my. These are oh, my favorite. I, I don't know, but I've, I wore those to the beach. When did you ever get foams? I got these from Ross like a long time ago. Ross? <laughs> For how much? Like 25 bucks or something. That's crazy work. I didn't even know you like foams. That's sick. <laughs> That's hard. She got Ricky Owens. She got the brown in the... I feel like... Which one do you like more? The brown ones or... I like those ones. These ones more? I got the brown ones and then I got the all ivory ones. Yeah. Wait, ivory? The ivory ones. The creams. Cream little Ricks. Probably gonna be a hassle, but you gotta show them this. What? Come on oh. now, yeah. And then tell them the story on why you got it. Because I wanted the OVO um, Jordans white and gold ones and this was the closest I can get. I didn't get them. So I've worn those, but I haven't worn these yet. I haven't worn these yet. Those are sick. 14. Um, those are just like those blazers. Mm, those yeah, are kind of sick. Like, I got these like in 2008, 2007. Um, that's why you got to just keep your shoes and not get rid of them mm, dang i should wear these this summer just baskets on baskets tubes on tubes of straight uh, shoes y'all this is just all uh, converses mm. more adidas man straight blue boxes do your homework on that mm -hmm. oh yes these are all like stand style different color stands and i think these go in that level. Ma, i know this is crazy i know you don't like being a friend of camera but if you started up a YouTube channel and started showing your monthly, what are these? We go pink and green on the forces. I bought these when I, oh yeah, I lived in Fort Sale. Dang, this 2011. For my AKA, you know what I'm saying? Going to my AKA function. Ski wee! Wait, let me see. Wore these anymore. They like some Valentine's Day forces or something. Oh yeah, I remember I just, kept, I just started. I don't know why. We lived in Italy and I think I was just buying a whole bunch of, um, I got these ones. I got the blue and white ones. Jordan 5 Lows. You're the only person in the world rocking Jordan 5 Lows. <laughs> oh, these are sick lows. But I bought these like in 2011 or something. Mm -hmm. Put them for a 6 low. Oh, it don't end. We having flavors this way. It don't end. Oh, Ooh. dang. I gotta put these out so I can see. <laughs> She done forgot she had threes. Gray toes, never forget those. Oh, okay, I got the these tins. in Italy. I remember I made a video around those, the Venom tins. The coming to America, it's both of them is the coming to America, but I like these ones. Those are hard with the plant. With the McDowell's on there. McDowell. That I made with my AK colors and 1908 on my shoe. AKA on this one. Now I'm trying to see like, what's in these boxes? And what? I don't know what those are. Oh my, those are tough. 
I'm rocking with brown palettes right now. I like these. What are these hey, called? Let me leave those out. Um, the I don't indie. Know. Let me see. These are Delta Force. Dang. And brown is my color in the morning. I gotta get those out too. This one, Jordan did a mashup with uh, Air Maxes. So like Air Max Jordans. Mm, Y'all can see the air bubble too. That's crazy. What are those? I, know, I ain't wore these in a minute. They like thigh highs. I mean, knee highs. What y'all know about moon boots? Yo, what? what? <laughs> you know what's crazy? Everybody in Atlanta, all the girls is wearing moon boots. How long what? you had those? Keep it Man, again. I done had these moon boots since Italy. Do your homework on my mom going yeah, moon boots. Zara, Cause I got to look. Zara in Italy. I got these from Zara. And I like them because you can't... Ain't no, ain't no left, right foot. You just put them on. Wait, what? <laughs> ain't no left, right foot. You just put them on. Why are those sick, though? <laughs> like... <laughs> Yo, is he giving Rick Owens or no? Low key. <laughs> he is low key giving Rick. I love these socks. It's nice. He's giving opium. He's giving Playboy Cardi Rock star. These are my favorite. And then I like the regular brown ones, but then I like these ones too. Fun fact too, I'm just giving y'all a whole bunch of fun facts right now. My mom was a rock star. Everybody be like, Cash, bro, you switched up, da -da -da, just be yourself. Twin, this is myself. Like, they, it really do hit different. Y'all don't even know. Like, my mom was really a rock star growing up. I don't even got to get into that for real. I like these other two. Some cheetah. The, the cast hair ones. I don't know. I thought I, I like them, but they got too many prints on them. So then sometimes it be feeling like it's doing too much. Oh, yeah, the UGG logo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I ain't gonna lie, Bloomingdale's medium brown bag. It's really giving Mark Jacobs energy though with the uh the tote bag. Who did it first? Bloomingdale's. Really? Yes, Bloomingdale's did it first. That's real. We go Ted Baker on the purse. Tory Birch. Good Tory Birch. Good I LV. I my wig out the way, but I'm an MCM fiend. <laughs> I got too many MCM bags. Way too many. I got the brown, hunter green, the red and black. Red and black. <laughs> This is just like a canvas clutch. Museum canvas clutch. For the summer, the white. I do like, I got this one from Bloomingdale. So I love this one. That's a cute little one. It's got me a tail far. Tell Feezy. Shout out to Tell Far, man. And I like how I got that because I like the denim. I usually don't like the C's, but I like the, that denim. But this is a little one I wore to Disney. It's a little That's Disney hard. One. Do you feel like and this might be like a, uh, you can stop and think about this one because it's kind of a loaded question. But do you feel as if, because I don't want people watching this video to think that like, oh, you had it all. Giving your child and growing up now that you are able to get these things, it's like you're going to get a little more because like, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say? Like if you, if you grew up and didn't have nothing and then when you do finally... That's why they say, oh, all the rappers that get rich, they spend all their money because they ain't have nothing growing up. Do you feel like it's yeah, like... But you still, you, I mean, you can get what you want, but you still supposed to get, be smart with getting... The only thing I'm paying full price for is Louis Vuitton. I'm going to an outlet. I'm getting it on sale at Nordstrom's, Nordstrom Rack, Bloomingdale's, Bloomingdale Outlet. Yeah. Ross. Like, when people, like, I don't know, that's... You can have nice stuff and invest some money in it, but at the same time be smart and not spend all your money yeah because a lot of people they might get it like misconstrued like they see lv mcm like nah like most of the stuff you see in here you probably was searching for deals like oh yeah if i can't get no deal i gotta it gotta be a one of a kind that i really really want for whatever reason at that time that's real but i'm not just paying full price for something not nah, if it's a hundred something dollars two hundred dollars i pay full price for it so look, let me ask you this then any piece that you regret getting whether it's clothes or shoes like something that's like all right i regret buying this like you still like it it still serves a purpose in your closet but like all right why did i get this or i could have held off on it you didn't wear those you know what i think <laughs> <laughs> no those right there i don't regret getting them but i think it was an impulse buy Cause they was on sale, right? They was on sale for a hundred bucks a piece. A hundred bucks, y'all. The Wakami, I believe that's called Wakami Green Yeezy boots for a hundred dollars. And you said that you don't regret it, but it was an impulse buy. Like you seen that price, you can't. And, and I'm glad I got these because I do wear a lot of army gray, brown, yeah, those kind of color. colors. I guess more so the hospital blues. I have not. I've worn these a couple of times. The hospital blues, I've never worn. I don't even wear light colors like that. So then that's make me feel like that. I usually don't wear colors this light in the winter time. Like I don't know. I'm more of an earth tone person. That's real. I don't know. Maybe if I find. 
Well, you know what? So <laughs> I just saw something. Mm. Little cotton candy vibe. It goes. Know. I don't know. It might, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Where I said I had the easy high tops, the 500. Oh, yeah, know. the basketball looking yeah, ones. And then these are the oils, oils the brown the ones. brown ones. And then these are the rocks. The rocks, which is like that. Uh, yeah, that we that, yeah. Let me yeah. see the rocks real quick, mom. Do you not realize? I how... thought we had the rocks at the same time. Yeah, and I sold mine. I need to stop selling my shoes. It'd be when I'm down bad. <laughs> I be trying to sell my shoes. Like I need to stop doing that, man. Go get some motion. She got rocks, man. Yeah, now, like these. mom. Like these. When we first got these, I probably say there was like two. How much do you pay for yours? Cause we got them off like Adidas, two, right? Uh, Didn't we get yeah, them off Adidas.com? Yeah. yeah. Cause yeah. they restock. It was two hundred something dollars. Now those are going for like five, six hundred. <laughs> mm. They're going for like five, six hundred. To be honest, do you mm. wear your pair? Uh, I have not worn these in a while, no. I will say a shoe that I regret buying. Mm -hmm. I don't regret buying. Yeah, I do. I, re I don't regret having them. I regret buying them. The zebra. Um, the zebra kind of the zebra 350s wait what because i bought them at sneaker con for 430 dollars and i could have waited and got them on yeezy day for the regular 200. <laughs> they don't restart every yeezy <laughs> colorway but i didn't know about yeezy day then and um they wasn't restocking them fast enough i was being too impatient and listen and then yeah. the bears dude was like oh yeah, yeah that's a good deal but yeah. of course that's his thing so he's gonna say get it because that's his business he made yeah. the bread off of that i don't regret having them because i want them and i still like them i regret paying twice as much for them when i really if i could have just had some restraint i could have had i didn't have to do that keep it a whole band with you easy zebra's probably going for like 200 right now <laughs> you know but even after i bought them like a what six months later or yeah. something then they restocked them and just that's crazy man and look mind you i i believe if i'm not mistaken all this started with thrift shopping you was thrifting when you was younger then it just evolved past then mm -hmm. so, so when i can afford to go in real stores you know she go tim's too if you ain't know my mom from new york so don't get it twisted she really got butter sitting around it hit different but say look y'all i keep yapping appreciate y'all again man i appreciate my mom again excuse me we finna head to Publix. i gotta get some groceries because i'm down bad at the crib so yeah with that being said let's lock in and go grocery shopping um and then i'm gonna hit on hit the road excuse me go back to the city and um yeah get back in grind mode put my head down chest stop keep working y'all know that so with that being said Publix, we on the way for sure bye robot i'm gonna go back to atlanta <laughs> nah, twin kept pushing too like, the robot just kept moving forward.